What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you how to fix this Funyai LED LCD TV. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and I'm going to show you what's going on. Alright, so I plug it in, I get no standby light on the TV and when I hit power, nothing happens. If you look up this model number, it basically tells you that uh, some people are experiencing no power, the TV set is dead, a high pitched um, sound coming out of the boards. And there's the power supply board, which also uh, powers the LED strips in the back, that's your backlight. Um, this is the main logic board, which controls your logic functions, uh, on and off functions, and like channel, volume control, stuff like that, your picture. Right now, as you can tell, you hear a high pitched tone. Well, when you unplug this, cable the ribbon cable from the main logic board that goes away what i did is uh, i troubleshooted and i got my uh, all my voltages on my power board so i eliminated the power board now ways to check your standby voltage is by looking at the standby light on your tv that lets you know their standby voltage going to your main logic board but the best way to check your standby voltage is on the power board going to the main logic board it should be labeled on the power board 5 volts or stby on some modern TVs, it may be 3.3 DC volts. Make sure that voltage is steady. If it's not steady, then you want to check for blown capacitors on your power board or main board, or a bad voltage regulator it can cause the voltage to jump up and down. Now, if you have a blown fuse, uh, you can replace that fuse, assuming that you had a power surge. But if there's something shorted on the power board, like a bridge rectifier, that could blow the fuse every time. So replacing the fuse may not help. Replacing the power board will. Then uh, I went ahead and I tried to replace the IC. That didn't fix it. Um, but I went ahead and I found the board really inexpensive at electroparsonline.com. I'll leave a link in the video description below. You should really be looking at the part number on the sticker, which is uh, right here. And there's another sticker right here. Um, but it's not the best um, look at the part number on the board itself that's printed on the board because there's different uh, revisions of the board even if that matches up so let's go ahead and uh, take this out I'm going to show you what I did one thing I did forget to do <laughs> unplug the power cord Jeez, I got sidetracked by uh, talking to you guys about the TV I forgot the number one rule is unplug the TV set when working on the TV boards. If you're wondering about these blue tabs, there are handles to pull out the ribbon cable ca um, cables because uh, you don't want to break any connections on these cables. Otherwise, you would have to replace them. They're pretty cheap. They're like only a couple bucks, but still, you know, you don't want to replace them if you don't have to. The board right here, I ordered it for um, on this using this number. I definitely should not have. Um, I should have ordered it using the sticker number. This is the board I ordered from electropartsonline.com. As you can see right here, it is uh, the same board number right here. So if I look side by side, they look like identical boards. Everything's pretty much the same. The board number is identical, okay? Except for this number right here, and this one ends in a, right here, it says F-T-U-H. All right, and then this one says F uh, N U H, and so that's a little bit different right there. So you want to um, pay attention to you know the sticker. So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna. Um, this is the old one. This is the original that came out of the TV. So I'm gonna put it, this board in. I'm gonna show you what happens. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, plug in the new board and turn it on. And all right, so now that works. Here we go. So now we have something different. Uh, we don't have that high pitch squeal, and the TV now has a standby light. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see if the TV turns on and we get a picture. All right, so right now it's blinking and the TV is booting up. So yeah, we have a picture now, but we have these white bars all, all across the screen. So you got these gray and white bars all over the screen. 
and there's no way to get out of that. You hit volume, nothing comes up. Even if you hit menu, the menu doesn't um, come up on the screen. So um, I double checked my work and I realized I ordered the wrong board. Now even though the um, printed number matches, the board is not the correct uh, version or revision of it. So let's go ahead and remove that and unplug the power cord first this time. And I contacted electropartsonline.com. I let them know that, hey, I, I think I ordered the wrong board. It was just the board number printed on the board is identical, but the sticker number was off. And they said most likely ordered the wrong board. So what's cool about electropartsonline.com is they will honor that, which is awesome. Take a look at this. This comes with every board that you purchase. They have the best return policy in the business. You can pause it right now and take a look for yourself. This is, this is the reason why I ordered from them. <laughs> they even have a little troubleshooting guide that comes with every board as well. All right, so now they sent me another board and a return label. <laughs> so hopefully this new board will actually uh, fix the TV. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna save that cardboard because I'm gonna put this board in. Because this te technically this board is still good. It's just, it's not compatible for this particular uh, TV. So we got the new board now. And, and this is the original board. And if you look at the numbers on the sticker, we got A3A. F T U H A three A F T U H. So let me go ahead and put this other board in and hopefully it would fix this TV. And that would make me really happy. Alright, double check your work. Everything looks like it's plugged in correctly. This is plugged in correctly. Let's plug it in. Right, I don't hear no high pitch noise. And oh, look at that! It fixed the TV. Awesome. So learn from my mistakes. When ordering the board, do not order from the printed number on the board. I mean, it kind of makes sense. It was like, hey. You know, it's the biggest number printed on the board, and it's the most, um, it, it stands out. It really does stand out, that number. And I, it's a very common thing that people order, you know, using that number. But even me, um, you know, I have 10 years experience, over 10 years experience fixing TVs. I should have known to order from the sticker number, and... I just, I guess because it was, um, I think it might've been out of stock or something. And I was just kind of hoping that it would uh, work on the, on the, in the TV. But yeah, just do yourself a favor, find the correct board. Use the sticker number, not the printed number on the board. So now we have a working TV. How awesome is that? And I don't have the remote. <laughs> I don't have the remote, so I'm gonna have to use this to select. Here we go. <laughs> I didn't figure it out. Oh, here we go. I'll just skip it. I'll hit menu for select and home. There we go. So you want to make sure the backlight settings are uh, set to 50% because uh, with, I don't know if you know, but LED TVs, if you set the um, backlight settings, backlight settings, 100% brightness, it'll burn out the um, LED strips, which I, I've done a, a couple of repairs already, just replacing the LED strips. And every time I check the menu, sure enough, the backlight settings were set to max. So yeah, just lower your backlight settings and you don't have to worry about that annoying repair. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. If you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And if you wanna check out my other how-to videos, check out this playlist right here. Also, if you wanna check out electropartsonline.com, I'll leave a coupon code and their link in the video description below. 
They are a really awesome source of buying TV boards and a really great return policy. Thanks guys for watching.